Hello, everybody. Today, we are going to talk about making our own seasonings. This is super, super exciting um, for me. I am really into using the food as medicine, as the saying goes, let food be your medicine. And this is one of the ways <clears throat> that we not only save tons of money um, in our budget, our food budget, but it really is so beneficial. One of the best things that you can do is go to like your local farmers markets or those local produce stores like you. Um, I know we have in Michigan and they actually have a clearance section of things that are going like they're overripe and they're going to go bad soon. And so they mark them down drastically. Like um, a couple of days ago, I got two whole flats of strawberries for five dollars. So that gave me about. 20 20 canisters of strawberries and so i cleaned them all i froze them put them in the freezer i was like super excited by it you can see in here my freezer is jam-packed with frozen strawberries uh, and blueberries because they had such an awesome deal um so i'm just really excited about that and so these are some very interesting and cost-saving ways so that this lifestyle is not running your pockets right because ideally you're eating natural foods you shouldn't have to spend a lot of money you've been spending money for years on garbage and junk food that has been hurting your body but in order for you to get healthy you should be able to spend a little bits about of money and stretch them a long way <clears throat> So, um, from previous videos, I know you guys have watched, I made ginger shots and I'm going to show you what I actually do with the, um, the fiber of the ginger after I take the juice and drink it. So I have a dehydrator. I have a, a very basic dehydrator. It's not even an expensive one. Um, and this is the name of it, uh, Excelivan. I got it for like $15. It wasn't a, a big deal. Um, it has one, two, three, about five levels to it, okay? Um, I put, I just put uh, some parchment paper in there for the um, ginger because it's all in little pieces and it will fall through. So I put the parchment paper in there. This is the end result of it. So it's all dehydrated now in the bag. And I have my coffee grinder here. I'm going to snap a little picture of the coffee grinder so you can see hamilton beach you can get these at walmart for about 15 bucks very cheap uh coffee grinder and this is how we're going to get it to powder okay so we're going to grind this up i want to grind it so you guys can see as you can see the powder is already moving around in there All right, and try to do this with one hand, all right? Okay. All right, so as you can see, it's now powdered. And I got these little jars with the little, little shaker jars. I got these at the dollar store. So, I mean, it's like a lot of little interesting things that you can have um, to keep your spices in. So this is some of the ginger already ground up. And I keep, I'm keep i gonna keep these in the little glass jars um, just so, you know, we can we can do some things, right? Um, another thing that I found was very beneficial to dehydrate is watercress. Okay. And the reason I'm saying that is because watercress does not have a long shelf life compared to other vegetables. They tend to, um, when you buy them at the produce market, uh, in a couple of days, it's turning bad. And so I found this problem. I keep had to throw out my watercress and it dawned on me, does Stephanie, go ahead and dehydrate it grind it in a powder and put it in your smoothies and stuff instead of the other uh route which was to eat it fresh and then you know i can have some watercress um fresh watercress maybe on a salad on day one or something but before it starts turning go ahead and dehydrate it so we won't have these problems um right here i have my cilantro you know cilantro um is on and off the nutritional guide and the reason being is because it's not always readily available in its natural form not gmo so when you can find it in its original form not gmo or hybrid uh in its season you can go ahead and get cilantro and i would just i would definitely dehydrate cilantro uh because once you dehydrate it has a very good shelf life so you can use it so you can use it going into the future okay 
Um, another thing I wanted to play, start playing with, with green, was green onions because I absolutely adore the taste of onion and I love the onion powder. It gives such a good flavor to foods. And then of course, you know, when you mix onion powder and ginger powder, it gives you a garlic taste, right? And then I have dill. I have dill here because when you mix dill with ginger and lime juice, you make vinegar. The vinegar taste, I should say, the alkaline vinegar taste. So these are some little um, little hacks, the alkaline hacks that would be really beneficial to you guys. A dehydrator, I don't know about you, but a dehydrator is a must in my life. A food processor and a blender are a must in my life. I cannot do without these things because I'm so dependent upon dehydrating my stuff. Um, other things that I'm going to be working with is doing um, making my own seasoning salts you can do some sea salt and you can mix different seasonings in there you make you dehydrate your seasons that you want to mix all together your season salt i'm going to be making my own alkaline paprika with some um different bell peppers um and some achiote uh and things of that nature and then i'm going to combine it into a nice seasoning salt so I just wanted to uh, put this out there for you guys because it is so important that we like unplug from the matrix, right? Um, and get, get away from all of this stuff that has all these additives and preservatives in it. Anytime you have food that is sitting on a shelf, they had to add something to it to extend its shelf life. Okay. Um, and those things are what wreak havoc in our bodies. So we have to get away from that stuff. So this is the easiest way. And as you can see, it's a powder. Now, I don't I don't fine grind my powder, but you can. You can actually fine ground this and get like how you get it out the ginger um, out the store where it's in a real, real fine powder. I don't do all that because I actually like it to be a little chunky when I'm cooking with it. It really has such an awesome flavor. So um, that is what I'm working on today. So I wanted to see, have you guys see um, what I'm doing here. Um, we are actually transitioning. Um, the kids are transitioning. So um, it's been interesting. Yeah, it's been interesting. We're transitioning from the standard American diet to um, a vegan. I think at this point they're kind of vegetarian. Uh, but we're pushing. We're pushing. Uh, you know, people's taste buds have to change and people get used to things. So it takes time. And I have, of course, been full alkaline vegan for years now. So um, I just wanted to give you guys this information. I think it's going to be useful. The dollar store for the canisters. And don't forget, <clears throat> you know, don't forget, this is your health journey. You have got to fight with this thing aggressively. Do not lay down. And accept what you've been handed. Fight for your health, okay? Fight with everything you have in you. Until the next time, guys, you be blessed, okay?